We'll now move into NFL. I think we'll wrap mm-hmm. um, this up very quickly. I think the two kind of key player movements was James Connor, the former Steelers running back, has now gone and joined the Cards. Mm. Um, I think it's interesting here. The RIP Chase Edwards Fantasy Valley. I think everyone was like Edmonds. 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 Edmonds um, were very keen on him. Of course, Drake, they're moving over mm-hmm. to play for the Raiders. Mm-hmm. Uh, but James Connor coming across over there, coming off a few injuries. Had he'll, a bit of a rough year last year. He'll be the RB1, you'd think. Yeah, all th- I wouldn't sleep on it. Chase yeah. Edmonds got me to the finals uh, yeah, last yeah. year. I yeah, think, think there'll be, be one A and one B. That'll be more of a 50-50 share, yeah. I would imagine. Definitely. And in that spread offense, because they've got so many wide receivers, it is Kyler. Mm. They probably won't spend a lot of time on the field at the same time, but mm-hmm. yeah. they'll split that. Yeah, but, you know, cards getting – well, guys, like mm. cards getting better, and they've got a really good team putting together what they've got there. Mm. My my tip, Kyler is the leading rusher. He has the most Ooh, rushing yards. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, Big. yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. yeah, So say James and Edmonds gets 100 each, and then uh, carries oh, no, carries carries these. Yeah. Like yeah. they split it. And then, four, yeah, four, yeah, yeah, Murray gets the rest of it and, yeah, he could lead that team again. Mm-hmm. The other really big news is Clowney goes and joins the Browns yeah. on a one-year 10 mil deal, I think, from memory. Uh, that's pretty, it's, it's. I think it's a good ad for them. They've got Miles Garrett and then, as we talked about, where they've got Malik Jackson there mm-hmm. as well. Kind of a nasty D line, probably to compete with your boys. Um, mm. And to how can we contain Lamar Jackson? Can so I, they've got some, <laughs> got some, got some, got some fast guys that can penetrate. You know, there's, they're not these guys that we're talking about aren't massive um, big boppers that can clog lanes. Mm. The guys are only going to get after and try to contain their quarterback. Mm. So it's interesting to see what they're doing and. Um, are the Browns contenders this year? I, well, I think they were last year. And I, mm. I think they've only improved from last mm-hmm. year. They were my um, winners of free agency, and mm. I think this is just another add to mm. there. I really like what they're doing. Their defense has been weak, and I think if they can add maybe some secondary help through the draft, they're going to be dangerous. I'm going to have to agree with you. Yeah, they played out of their skin. This year their uh, running game, I think, was number one. No, Ravens won. Raven, because okay. oh. they the Ravens had Lamar, Lamar, of course, JK, and um, Gus Bus, and, and, the bus. and they, they were th- up there though. And they were up there. Sprinkle in some Ingram as well. So okay. yeah, they were very dominant. On well, it round. doesn't hurt them, does it? No, Joseph, could you please? As, as an on, uh, I'll be honest, Ravens fan. It's a North Division. Yeah, follow-up. we played them twice. The Browns fucking terrify me right now. I don't see a week. <laughs> the only weak spot they have is probably linebacker. They can go to the draft. There's mm-hmm. three or four that they can pick up there. Probably some depth in the secondary, but they get Greedy Williams back. Denzel mm-hmm. Ward healthy. They yeah. went and got the Rams safety. His I'd, name is Johnson. That, that Browns Ravens game Jones. last year with Poop. Poop Lamar yeah, yeah. was probably the best game. Of oh, last easy. Year. That was insane. Yeah. That was so good. I think two, they don't two, have two a of that weak this spot. Year. Yeah, to it. their offensive line is good. They get OBJ back. They t- scare the shit out of me. If, if, um, fuck, if Baker doesn't turn it over, they're very good. I think you got them, Chiefs, Bills, Ravens. They're your top four. Really? For mine. Yep. Yep. Don't mind that. So, Brown's legitimate. And, oh, and, big time for mine. And thank God yeah. for the long... It's, a, it's about time. Oh, yeah. Long yeah. Long yeah. suffering yeah. people of Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, watch them go out and be 6-11 and 11 now. Oh, I don't know. About oh, I'm still not used to that. That 17 <laughs> is gross. Yes, I know. I, I, I had to think about it real quick. Yeah. I, know, I, I, I can see the cogs turning. They're very slow. Very slow. Um, so the other interesting news that came out from the NFL during the week was a lot of the players have voted, and I think the main teams, Denver was one, Bucks were another, yep. Jets, and there's four. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just throwing out teams here now, Jets and Bills, I think. We all, Bucks and Broncos were the main ones I, that I remember. Uh, they're meant to start their voluntary workouts in the coming week. Mm-hmm. Uh, but most of them say, hey, we're worried about Rona. We're worried about guys that are traveling for international for vacations, mm. et cetera. So they've said, hey, we don't want to – we're going to skip them. Of course, they are voluntary workouts. Mm-hmm. Um, some of these clubs like the Broncos, I think, have had the most guys in the club, like in the facility, sorry – during the off season, mm-hmm. um, tracking guys, I think they've had like twenty eight guys in the, in the club, um, sorry, in the facilities training during the off season, which is a fair amount. Uh, but the league kind of, you know, they were worried about where this was going, so they've come out today and said, you know, virtual meetings, just do virtual meetings till May. We'll figure it out from there. Need to, to try and please it. We'll try and get everyone vaccinated as well, which includes all players. 
uh, all of the coaching staff, all the front office, etc. Everyone that's in the buildings will will try to get them vaccinated. Uh, of course, then they will have to the league will have to hit that roadblock of the guys that want to um, not get vaccinated. The guys that you know the the anti vax um, mm-hmm. approach, and there's a few of those, of course, in the league. Unfortunately, ah, morons. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be political, and perhaps has gone the other the other way. <laughs> yeah, I'll say it again, more. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so we'll see how that all plays out and how that happens. But at this stage, yeah, it looks like the voluntary voluntary workouts will not happen this week, and it'll all be this coming week. Sorry, and it'll all be virtual meetings, and we'll see how the league deals with that. Um, of course, um, if you follow any of these teams, and if you read any of the American um, population. Um, Stigmatism is maybe the wrong word. Uh, what they think of the players is this. They're like, hey, we've gone to work nine to fives. We wear our masks. We follow the procedures. Um, if you're worried about guys doing vacations international, like internationally, uh, maybe you don't do vacations internationally. That's your, you know, we've got this whole rich first poor dynamic. Mm. So uh, the general population of America, not happy at all with this situation. Mm. Yeah, millionaires saying, "Hey, we don't want to work because we're worried about COVID." When the nine to five guys making fuck all are like, "Hey, we're out here busting our balls mm. um, just to feed our families. Why can't you guys go and train uh, in a very enclosed bubble environment?" Essentially, was the stigmatism. Yeah, we we'll have to watch and see what happens there. I guess. Yeah. Mm, yes. Biggest news though was probably the retirement of uh, Patriot Great. Um, Danny Amendola. So shout out to uh, <laughs> Danny. Was obviously a great. Uh, pay- oh, sorry. Come on now, come on. That's just dis- that's Edelman. disrespecting a man on the day. I'm surprised did that meme. That's that is. That I'm surprised you did see that going around. And it was yeah. Wes Welker, and then it was like Chris. <laughs> Hogan, yeah, so. I was gonna say, why didn't you pick Wells Welker? Like anyway. Uh, uh, so Julian Edelman, uh, the other white guy, the squirrel, uh, the squirrel has retired. He was he. Technically failed his physical and was medically retired, which is actually really good for him because mm. then he can then be a part of the injury protection benefit, which is part of the CBA. Um, so Patriots maybe did him a solid in this. Mm-hmm. He had a really cool, yeah, uh, nice. It seemed like it was. Yeah, yeah, he got a really cool, nice video of him um, in Gillette Field, uh, yeah. kind of saying his piece and retiring. But you know, great career. I think how many championships did he win? Did he win? F- Three. Four, three? Three, I think. I was going to say, it's three or four. Um, had one of the – I think he's got like two of the most unreal catches of all time in that playoffs. That one in the Falcons game is fucked. That's like crazy. Because obviously it pops up where he's retired. It is – Millimeters from hitting the ground, and, oh. he sco- and, and there's like uh, without everything that happens beforehand, and then to scoop that up, like you're winning that like, that game purely based on that catch. It is insane. Shout out to Ross Big Dog Chilton saying it was the most, it was the biggest catch in Super Bowl history. I said David Tyree probably has something to say about yeah, that. He's, he's uh, into the chat. He he and his helmet have entered the chat. So shout out Big Dog, love that you're pumping up the bloke's tires. You're wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the man won a Super Bowl MVP. Like for a receiver to do that, that's really awesome. Obviously mm. played with the goat. His, his playoff best, record's amazing. His best mm. mate. But like you say, he played with the goat. Of course. Yeah, yeah. His best mates with Brady. They've got a really good relationship, and 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 we've got down there. You know, seventh round pick. He's come from nowhere. Scrappy mm. slot receiver. Mm. Just you know, gritty. Does everything Bill Belichick wants. I, I loved all the memes when he was cut, like wavered by the Patriots. Uh, they're like, oh, is he going to the Buccaneers? Is he going to Buccaneers? And then he came out well, like an hour later, like, nah, I'm retiring. Mm. I'm hurt. I'm banged mm, up. Mm, like, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm 34. Like, it's enough for me. I've won everything. Yeah, I've made my year. money. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true, true. Yeah, give, give him six Monks months. Monks has he, the Bucs hat on at the moment. He's safe. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, it's like, hey, uh, AB, AB hasn't resigned. Do you want to come play in the slot for us? I was going to say there's no room on the roster. <laughs> true. Scotty well, Miller would be furious. Oh, yeah. Now, obviously, awesome career. Julian Edelman. Well, um, there's a question for you. His career-wise, do you think he's Hall of Fame worthy? No. Nope. And I think... Great uh, plan, great plan. And it sucks that it's the argument that comes up because in that, then you spend the whole day, he retires, people say, you're not a Hall of Famer. It's mm. like, well, I was pretty good. Like, yeah. we won, should be, I won three Super Bowls. Like, it yeah. should be more celebrating. We shouldn't have yeah, to have yeah. this layers of conversation, but he, the man had 600 catches. Like, mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm. That's, I th- yeah, I think Torrey Holt 
Yeah. Like there's yeah, one that yeah, hasn't made it. Yeah. Reggie Wayne. Reggie Wayne Hines was Ward, the other one. Yeah, Hines like, Ward, like got, these guys. There's a decent list of guys in yeah. front of him. And again, um, it sucks. It, like this is Julian Evans that we should be talking about him, but this is just mm-hmm. the narrative, you know, with – but oh, great career. Good on you. I hate the Patriots. <laughs> You've broken my heart a couple of times, which probably speaks to you being an awesome yeah. athlete. So. Do we think he was a high? Was he, he was a quarterback seven. in college. Yeah, he was. Kent State. Yeah, Kent yeah. State. He played some cornerback for the Patriots too. Like, he's, yeah, yeah, he was swingman, swingman. He punt returner as well. Like, he did everything. So, he was a seventh round receiver. And we kind of got it here as was he the best seventh round receiver of all time? Um, yeah, I'm That's, trying to look back. And TJ Hushman Zada was the seventh round yeah, receiver. Yeah, there's a good comparison. There's some, Who had a better there's definitely a lot of late Who was guys. Better? Uh, uh Hushman Zada was on fire for a few. TJ was Take away team events, just numbers. I think TJ gets the nod there. Well, that, yeah. and I'm I'm going back now as well. There was a guy Bobby Mitchell, mm. 1958. Uh, played with the Browns in Washington. Uh, apparently, he was pretty. Good. You had to go to 1958. I I can give it to Julian. <laughs> <laughs> Harold Car Carmichael, six foot seven, two hundred and twenty five pounder. I remember yeah. him well. Oh, I. I can't get many numbers, so it, it might be a shout for the best seventh round receiver ever. I've also got Arquise Colson. Oh, he was, he was good. Colson yeah. was good. That was that was a good pick up. Uh, Donny Driver. Donald oh, Driver. Donald Driver. Yeah. 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 You notice all the these Hall guys played with good quarterbacks. I'm pretty sure Driver. Is Driver in the Hall of Fame? I'm I not, I maybe I'm thinking one of the Sterlings. Yeah, I don't think Donald Driver's in the Hall Sorry. of Fame. Well, he had a good numbers. But you notice you can't be a seventh round pick and make it if you don't have a really good quarterback throwing you the ball. So obviously Favre, Rogers, yeah, indeed, yeah. Breeze. But even, Brady. even lo- having a look at Donald Driver's numbers, Rob, uh, he is not in the Hall of Fame. But Super Bowl champion and four time Pro Bowl, and and it, and as a comparison to Julian. 61 touchdowns, so double the touchdowns. He had 10,000 receiving yards. Julian yeah, had right. so, six yeah. and a bit. So it's uh, I don't think it's even an argument. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't think he is. I think it sucks that people – it kind of diminishes him on the yeah. day he retires, yeah. saying, you're not a Hall of Famer. It's like, yeah, oh, well, fuck yeah, you. I'm like, a three-time Super Bowl yeah. champion. Like, I'm a Super Bowl MVP. So. Probably a direct yeah. comparison to him as well as well. Where's Welker? Yeah, it's a, essentially, Wes, I think, had a essentially the same guy. Yeah. 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 Did you and, – and I'll be – Quick, but did you see the video of Bill Belichick when Edelman first came in and w- Welker was injured, so he was just in his street clothes on the sideline, mm. and Welker took a punt return back, mm-hmm. and Belichick's just standing there and he's got his headset on and he goes, "I don't." To baseball, it's up. Willie Pep was mm. a, the first baseman for the Yankees. Mm. He got hurt, and Lou Gehrig took over uh, and then played yeah. like you know. 10,000 games straight. Well, you think Tom Brady and Drew Bledsoe, Bledsoe gets hurt and then yeah. Brady comes in and mm. goat. <laughs> and he goes over, he goes to his assistant coach, he goes, who, who played first base before Lou Gehrig? What was his name? What was his name? Mm. Well, oh, Wally Pep. Yeah, good. And he goes over to Wes Welker and he says, you know who you are? Wally Pep. Oh! <laughs> he said it to him on the sideline. Absolutely. St- and Wes Welker's wow. like, oh, yeah. So he's picked up NFL film stuff. Like, awesome yeah. stuff. And then, you know, he's not wrong. No, <laughs> Julian no. came in for 10 years and, and dominated. So, yeah. Great career. Congratulations. Fuck the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> we will obviously uh, draft coming up in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, uh, we've we're going to try and do a live episode for the draft. Live mm-hmm. episode for the draft. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, we, draft we, special. We've been working on some mock drafts and stuff, so we're going to pump some of that stuff in the next mm-hmm. week or so. So if you who love your NFL, stay tuned. We're going to um, get some content pumped through to you guys. Yeah, some quick stat for Wells Worker while we're here. 900 receptions, almost 10,000 yards, 50 touchdowns for him, yeah. and 6,722 return yards. So, again, even Wes uh, leaps and bounds ahead yeah. of Julian there. Yeah, five-time but pro bowler. He, well, he's the other thing. He led the league in receptions three years. Yeah, so that's, that's wild. Um, and, of course, uh, he's nope. probably coming up for consideration in the Super Bowl because he retired after 2015. He it's not Super Bowl for Hall of Fame. What am I talking about? When was was he undrafted, Wes Welker? Because we're talking about seventh round picks. He was undrafted in yeah. two thousand and four. Yeah, there, there you go. go. But again, guess what? Tom Brady leaves Tom Brady to play with Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah then, which three seasons? Uh, he, he led the league in receptions. Two thousand seven, two thousand nine, and twenty eleven. They're all Patriots. Mm. They're Patriots. Yeah. yeah, I think he scored bulk touchdowns at Denver. I don't think he had that receptions because he had D- through 50 in one yeah, year. DT <laughs> and Decker outside him. 
So mm. yeah, Denver he had seventy three, but that was his he had ten touchdowns that year. Mate. Ten touchdowns that year. That was his biggest year for yeah. touchdowns. Where's Welker, Crazy. baby? Mm. But yeah, those years, 112, 123, and 122 receptions. Cross. Yeah. Averaging over 10 for bo- all three of those, so that's not bad. Anyway, that I think will wrap up the NFL chat for the week. And probably our final round of the last few sports to cover. Yep. 